if I am your investor, if you are going to talk to me and say, Brett, hey, you know, I need to raise $200,000 and uh, I want you to, to come in part of my deal, right? Whether it's equity or debt, we'll talk about it later. But I want to you to you do invest two hundred thousand into my deal. There are two things that are going to be super important to me regarding this. Okay, number one, the most important thing: how secure is my money? Right, that money is my future. Right, that is my retirement. That is my set aside for my kids. That is money that I would normally invest in some other rental property that's going to have money babies and going to spit off more passive income for me. Right, I want to protect it because I'm trying to retire early. So it is very, very important to me that I know that my money is 100% safe. It is super, super secure. So in this context, I want to use my business plan and I like to frame things in a way that your money is safe because what I'm going to say in this business plan. So like, for example, I'll go through my business plan and I'll say, hey, here's what I want to do. I want to have 16 grandmas and grandpas. It's going to have, you know, um, that's going to allow me to have all the care and amenities that I, you can get at one of the big smelly facilities. And who wants to be in one of those big smelly facilities, right? So they're going to come to me and then implied. So therefore your money is safe. I don't actually say your money is safe, but I'm implying it, right? Then I'm going to say something like turn to the next page. Okay. Hey, did you know that there are like 10,000 people turning 65? Uh, I'm forgetting this, this is like every, every year, day. Every, day? every day, every day, every day. Thank you. 10,000 people. That's a lot of people turning 65 every single day, right? Like the baby boomer generation is here and they need somewhere to go implied. So your money is safe, right? Like I, then I may say like, okay, I did the market research, right? I know that my specific area has a higher population of elderly, elderly people. I know that there is a higher percentage of income in this area. I know that uh, I've done all my statistics on this area and I've identified this as the best area, right? This is why I'm going to be successful. Implied, this is why your money is safe, right? I am trying to paint a picture for them that I have all my ducks in a row. And this is so vital for why your, your business plan is so important because you are really trying to prove to the bank and to the lender that their money is safe. And that is their biggest concern right now, right? How do you keep my money safe? How do I know I'm going to get it back? And you need to prove to them that you have all your ducks in a row, that you know everything about this niche, even if you don't, and that their money is going to be totally safe with you because literally they're giving it to you, right? Like even if it's collateralized against the building, like you are the one running the operation, right? Like you, it, it has to be you, right? Like so show you also what is special about you. What is it that you have excessive amounts of grit more than the next person that will get the deal done no matter what, okay? So that's the first and most important thing that I think if I'm going to lend you 200 grand, the second most important thing. And again, I think that if the first one is compromised, the second one means nothing, right? I have to know that my money is going to be safe and returned to me. Then I'm going to consider what's the second thing. And that's a great return, right? What is my return on my investment? I want to have a good return, right? I, I have a, there's a lot of things that I can do with my money. I can put it into lots of different places to make, um, to make more money. Why should I put it with you? So once you have proved to me, number one, that my money is going to be safe with you, then I want you to prove to me that I'm going to make a great return with you. And that's where I use the second tool. The second tool is my financial performa. This is where I am proving to them that not only is their money safe, now I'm going to show you why this is a home run of a deal. I'm here to show you that this is the best deal you're going to see all year, right? And this goes back to what my niche is, right? The luxury 16 memory care mansion, um, where again, like my whole goal is I want to make $500,000 a year and I want to work four hours a week. That's what we're able to accomplish with the, the memory care mansion. So if I can say that to somebody and show them, here are the numbers, right? Here's what I'm projecting. Here's what my, my worst case scenario is. Here's what it's going to be in two years. Talk about the equity. Here's what I'm building at versus what it's going to be uh, valued at. And um, all of these different things. If I can put them all in the numbers here and I don't really get to the point where I am showing them, here's what you're getting out of it. I'm never saying anything in this stage about here's what you're getting. I'm just saying the deal is a home run. It's a grand slam deal. And I'm implying that, hey, I'm here to have a conversation with you that you're going to be part of this. We haven't talked about how yet, right? I haven't gotten to my offer yet. 
but in some way you're going to be a part of this. So your tools are so, so vital to this. And um, again, either spend some time on this or spend some money or both on it because it will make a big difference in, uh, in structuring and, and getting the right uh, bank and investor for this.